I See You is the name of this drawing. And that's not what I intended when I originally started, but it's always interesting when you're trying to practice your line drawing in an abstract fashion, what may result. What I did intend was to just draw some curvy lines and I did sort of have this ribbon looking effect in mind. Um, and so I, I did, these are random-ish, you know, you can tell that I put this uh, intersection right there in the center. Um, as a place for your eye to focus. Um, some of you may know, but I come from a quilt making background and one of the things, well two of the things that we focus on when you're making a quilt is scale and value. And so what that means is you want a, something large, medium, and small for scale in your design and for color you want light mediums and darks that just makes for a more interesting quilt and I've been applying some of those concepts to some of my drawing so I think I did okay on the light medium and dark as we go along you'll see some of these things are very dark some of them are medium and some of them are light um, on the scale I guess I did okay if you look at that uh, shape in the kind of the top it looks to be a hole and then you can break it down with your eye into the more smaller and medium scale components of it. I like doing this kind of drawing where there's really no desired final outcome and you can just kind of step back and look at it a little along and decide what to add and when to stop and that sort of thing. What I often find when I'm doing these kind of drawings is they end up being um, all flowers and leaves and so I was determined to turn this one into something a little different. finished drawing those ribbons they're interesting but they're kind of boring just by themselves so I got a little silly and I wanted to give this drawing something to do so we have this almost hourglass action going on with the circles falling from the funnel at the top into the pile below Now, one idea I had when I was working on this was to um, let those triangular leaves have triangles dripping off of them and make a pile of triangles on the other side but I decided I, I kind of was enjoying the curvy aspects of this and I didn't want to emphasize the triangles any more than they already were. happy I decided to go back and add these extra triangles here. I think it kind of makes that pointy end of the leaf look like it's getting a little bit darker when it's really just because the triangles are getting smaller. I almost colored those little triangles in solid but I'm glad I didn't do that either. Now since we weren't going to have a pile of triangles over there on the side I decided to let my circles be carried away in their own ribbon. And then that shape just begged to have an eye put in it. 
I hadn't intended that at all, but it just fits so perfectly. And I really like the way that turned out. And really the eye became the focus point. The focal point, that's where your eye, your eye goes to look at the eye first. And I was just doing some final details. I darkened up those lines and then put more of the uh, curvy circle shapes there over on top of that eye. And it was interesting after I drew that eye, that's all I could see while I was drawing this was that eye looking at me. This is certainly a different twist for most of my drawings, but I really had fun creating it and like pushing myself to new ideas. So YouTube thinks you would like this video here on the left, and I think you would enjoy this playlist over on the right. I uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. We'll draw something again.